Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see three more modifiers. More specifically, we have the median line, divide lines and divide arcs. Honestly, divide lines and divide arcs, I have never used them, but it's good to know that there is this possibility because you never know. Let's start with the first function. So as usual, we are going to start to draw geometries. So let's draw two lines. And let's add the median. So a line in between the two existing one. So we go in modifiers, we select the function median line and then we have to select the two geometries. See, I selected the first, I go over the second and it's already showing what it's gonna do. In order to complete the command, we click and it is done. Keep in mind, it doesn't work only on parallel lines. It also works on angular. So we can, well, let me extend it a little bit, but even if it doesn't matter, but we can also create a line exactly in between these two. For example, we go modifiers, select the function again, median line, select the first, and again, see? And you can click and close the function. Now we have a bunch of lines, so we can already see the next modifier, which is divide lines. But look what happens when I click on it. It gives me an error. That is because no object was selected. So in order to apply this function, has many others, you probably need to select the geometry first. So we can select the line and as we can see from uh, the right panel, it's just a line. I can explode it more than that. But if we click on divide line, first of all, we can specify how many divisions. So how many subdivisions we want for this line? Do we want to get three lines? We want to separate, you know, in three, four, five. So let's say I want four subdivision, confirm. You see, now it became a polyline. It's not a, a simple line anymore. And it will contain, if I explode it, four different lines. So at this point, if we double click on it, we can even change the different points that we got and confirm. Same thing can be done on an arc. So let's draw an arc. Again, it's only a single arc right now, but we can select, modify, divide arcs, and how many division, how many subdivisions we want? We want, I don't know, I want five, 
ok 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so again if you double click on it you can start you know moving all the points or you can decide to explode it maybe and so you get all the individual geometries okay this is it for this video hope this was helpful see you at the next video